Okay, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and animate our character so that the character can run. Let's uh, begin by going over to our content browser, and mine's just been expanded so you can see it better. And in the gray area, I'd like you to right click, and we're going to create an animation blend space 1D. Okay, so select that. You want to pick your character, not the original Unreal Engine mannequin. Mine was called Super Boo, so I'm going to select that. And then for the name, just call it blend space or BS underscore and then whatever your character name is. So I will just say boo. So BS underscore boo. That will define my blend space. I'm going to double click on that. And right now my character is over here. All my animations are on the side here in my asset browser. And if you double click on one of those animations, you will see how they play out. Okay but you want to be in the blend space, so I'm gonna go ahead and double click back up there so that I have my timeline on the bottom over here. Right now, our timeline doesn't have a name, it just says none. We're gonna change that by going to the axis settings, click the arrow, and change the name from none over to speed. And when we click away, the graph now has speed on the x-axis, okay? We're not going to manipulate anything with the y-axis, so we're going to ignore that. Or actually, that's our minimum speed, which is at zero. That's fine. The maximum speed in Unreal is 375, so I'm going to set that to 375. And that just means if we're going at full speed, then we'll have our running animation happening. Or we can't go faster than 375. So I'll have that. And then for number of grids, that's the amount of divisions. On each division, you can put an animation. So we currently have four divisions, so we could put four animations. I'm going to set it to six, and the reason I'm doing so is because when I click away, now that there's more animations, it gives us a little bit more flexibility to when each animation starts and stops. And then for the interpolation over here, that just adds a little bit of a delay between animations so that you can kind of smooth out the animation itself. So I'm going to say 0.1 seconds, and that should be fine. Okay, now we're going to drag these assets out onto the blend space. But make sure when you're dragging them out, you're grabbing the little like folder looking thing, like that green document, and not the name itself. If you drag it out by the name, it might just trigger the animation, which it's not doing right now, but sometimes it does. So I started by grabbing idle, and I'm going to move it to the very start, okay? Because that, when, when I'm not doing anything, I'm at zero speed, so I should be idle. Then if I'm holding the button just slightly, I should start walking. So I'm going to grab the walk, drag it to maybe over here. So it's on the second one. And then I'm going to be full out running at 375. So I'm going to drag that out over there. Okay, so I dragged out my three animations. If I hold down the shift key, you can see how it all blends together. Let me go ahead and rotate this character just a little bit to, whoops, my character is really small, so it's, it's hard to not move like ridiculous speeds. Okay, let me click away. Okay, if I hold down shift and then I hold down the right, you can see, so I'm not moving. Then I go out into kind of a walk here. And then if I keep going faster and faster, my character goes into a full out run. Okay, so this is just showing you what the animation blends into and what it looks like. Okay, so go ahead and mess with that. But once you got it the way you want it, make sure you press that save button on the top and then we could close out of our blend space. Okay, now that we have our blend space made, we're gonna go ahead and add in a character animation so we could trigger this blend space. So right click on the gray area again, we're gonna go to animation and then we're gonna go to animation blueprint. Okay, it's gonna open up the option like this and we want to be on the bottom over here, and you want to select the skeleton once again of your character. So Super Boo Skeleton for me, and I'm going to go ahead, press OK. And then I name this Anim as if it was like animation, and then underscore, and then the name of the character. So I'll just call it Boo. And then click away, and now I have an animation for Boo. So we got to hook up our blend space into the animation. I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. Okay, and now that we're in the animation graph, we're going to add in a few things. One of the first things we're going to add in is called a state machine. So right click on some open area and type in 
state and you should have a state machines add new state machine select that a state machine is essentially going to check what state our character is currently in and what inputs we're putting in there and then it's going to make our pose okay so whatever pose the character should be doing it's going to be created by this state machine now if you think about how the state is controlled it's currently controlled by speed okay that's what we did in our blend space we we controlled it by speed so we're going to have to add a new variable so over here down here we're going to add a new variable and we're going to go ahead and call it speed and we're going to change speed from a boolean over to a float okay and we're just going to go ahead and click compile don't worry it's going to give you a warning right now that's perfectly fine but let's go ahead and enter that state machine now the first state our character can enter is an idle or run so entry drag out here and we're going to add a new state whoops and i kind of went back too much so you can always control where you're at over here so let me go ahead, right click on that and rename it to idle slash run. Okay. And then go into idle slash run and it'll open up our final animation pose again. We're going to grab speed from the side over here. Okay. Drag that out and we're going to go get speed. And it's going to trigger a blend space. So drag that out there and to find your blend space remember we used BS first so if I go BS you should hopefully find blend space for your player that's mine select that and then connect it to here so our speeds gonna dictate the final animation pose okay now you'd think you're done but we actually got to also code like our character with the animations so we've put the animations but we haven't exactly like meshed them into our character yet so go over to the event graph. Okay. So right click in the area underneath this red uh, event blueprint update animation thing. Let's go ahead and get our character or at least try to. So we have to go try get pawn owner. This is for our animation. It's going to check to see if we actually exist on the map. And if we do, then it will care about animations. If we don't, then it won't and drag off the event blueprint and we're just checking if we're there so it's is valid for this okay and we're going to connect ourselves to if it lets us to the input object okay and then we're going to then go from there and set our speed so set speed okay but in order to find out our speed we need to find out the velocity of our character so go ahead and drag off this node here and Unreal automatically knows the speed of our character. It's in something called get velocity. Okay, so go over to get velocity. And then the velocity is controlled by a vector. So drag out there and then type in vector length. Okay, and select vector length. And then connect that over to the speed of the character. Okay, so if you do that and you press compile, Hopefully everything looks like it's it's running smoothly now. The character's been set up. The the um, the run animation has been set up. So our state machine should be running. Inside the state machine, we have our idle run running, and in there, it's it's based off the speed and it's triggering the blend space. So if I minimize all this and I click play, you're going to notice right away that the character itself isn't doing anything. It's still doing that default stationary animation uh, and that's because we haven't changed it in the third person character yet so select the third person character go over to edit blueprint and open blueprint editor go over to the viewport of your character up there and go back to your mesh and we said use animation asset before that's why it's just constantly playing that idle animation now that we have a blueprint made we actually just made a, an animation blueprint switch back to use animation blueprint and then for animation class we're just going to choose anim and then underscore your character name okay so I just changed to the blueprint I'm going to go ahead press compile and now if I close out of this and I run the game and I run you're going to see that your character is now animated okay that's pretty cool and I'll try to slow down so you could see it's kind of there you saw me I was running slow 
or walking slow. But you, you move pretty quickly or it takes you very little time to go from zero to a full run. Okay, but there we go. We got a base animation. Okay, so that's going to conclude this video. In the next video, we're going to add in jumping. And then that's going to conclude our, our animation series for now. Okay, I'll see you then. Peace.